Death Ward in the Mystic Stake, but uh-oh. Wow. They were ready for this. Hey, little Riki. And the arrow connects Alliance no quick, decisive Fine. first blood. Little area, as soon as he walks up, they, they put another one down and they just pop the Metamorphs they get first blood. It's just that easy. The, the reason why you don't normally see teams do that is if you if the Rigi doesn't make that move into your jungle and you drop that sentry, you now are going to lose the D Ward battle mid, which means Rigi is going to crush you. Oh but instead, my Alliance, God, again? they find a second arrow, a second kill. Never ever enter this side of the map, say Alliance. They'll take Moon down. I think he might be in trouble. To Trying fire blast to catch arrow. out the Drow Ranger, yeah. and they got him. The arrow fire blast combination is too much. I mean, one, if you don't see EGM coming in, you don't get out in time. You get two more kills after that. You're still up against four ranged heroes and a Drow. So if you don't keep on finding kills, things are going to be dicey. But it looks like they'll find another mod bringing down Moon in the top lane. As far as Especially if they're ex if they're expecting a gank or some movement from Alliance, that's where Miracle will likely look to join the uh -oh. team. Oh, Moon's gonna go top, but immediately Loda turns around and says, "I've got meta," and he's gonna turn on Moon for the end. Look at the flame break; it might burst it down. He's gonna get it down. Two. Will Anake is now gonna get caught out. Fate's Edict will keep him alive for now, but the sticky napalm stacks will still stack up here. Ake getting chased down, purifying flames. Moon is low, and he actually sticks up and he gets the kill. Ake turns around with a beautiful stick play, and level three purifying flames is more than enough of a nuke to get the kill. Moon, Moon had a wand. I don't think he used it. Still, now Lotus in trouble again. Top the smoke oh, screen. This is bad. Another sticky napalm. Two stacks up. They have the cask even coming up for fly. It's more than enough, and Ricky secures the kill. Oh, Crit is looking for a potential S4 kill. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, there's a good chance. So uh, smoke screen is late. They still are gonna run him over and get the last one. TP's coming in, but it's not gonna be enough. No, they have the fortune dead in time. The gust is there. Ake will give his life up to kill, or at least they're gonna try lose to get a lot here. Alive. But this is bad for Alliance. Let's get the perfect chrono, even with it. They still lose two, and they're going to lose the tower. Oh, Chris Slightly encouraging, but Crit is ready for this one. He gets the cloud off onto Bulldog, says, get the hell away, then pops the ultimate, dips he into safety, and he blinks out. Wow, he Crit is not going to die. completely shuts down the Alliance gank, but they're still going to chase. Good gust, and now Bulldog. False promise will come through, but there's the death we're coming in as well. Loda going to work on Moon, but not enough still. No tail going to damage on Bulldog as well, and he just gets blown up after the false promise. Loda with no Sunder is about to fall to Miracle, who just continues to plank a boy with the right click. They're going to chase after EGM. They don't have any more slows available. A, a void that just basically runs around. Still though, Mott, they have Chrono up. Roche is low. Can they fight? They're about to get in. They get the Aegis in time though. That's a oh, great no. Chronosphere. Crit still low. This Star Storm, it's enough damage to at least take down one. The Gust will come through. Fly up and ready. He's got the Voodoo Restoration and his wand. Meanwhile, Bulldog able to get out in time. Not enough damage from Miracle at the very least. He's looking to turn around, look to Ake, and look at that damage from the double damage rune. No uphill miss there, and Miracle continues to run and try to find more. 350 damage with that D D OG showing Alliance what many teams learned the hard way at Summit, at Star Ladder. You don't give Drow away without a plan. And so far, the plan yet to emerge. Now the Stone Gaze, Bulldog being forced back. Loda will get caught, will die again. Six deaths on the Terror Blade, yet to claim a kill. And Miracle looking for the punish. Onto Ake finds him too. Now they blink forward for EGM. They've got the lasso as well. Bulldog forced to use the Chrono, but misses on Moon. However, they get the kill with a nice multi. Uh, cast proc coming out from EGM, and Miracle is going in a bit too deep. He does have the Aegis, but needs to be careful. Bulldog is going to get silenced again. The Death Ward, see you later. And the Gust onto S4 as well. Two or three more right clicks to do it, should do it, and that, yeah, that'll kill him. Lucky shot. Alliance are getting farmed inside their own base. This is yeah. over, and Alliance it. know it. They call the GG. Horrible mistakes until the game was already out of reach anyway. Your draft just wasn't able to beat the drought. Find that oh opening God. for Miracle. A parade of shard golems. Boulders, boulders, boulders. Miracle's going to take two and actually will be able to avalanche, but a couple more right clicks and a jump up from S4 will try to get the kill. Jukes through the trees. They will find him. It is first blood. It was a good effort from Miracle, but Aki comes through with three mud golems, well, two and two, one and two shard golems, but the Herald boulders do 150 damage. So 125. He needs kind of some help, though. He's the only one here, as everyone else is mid for Alliance. I don't think he can get this kill with a TP, baby. There's the Star Going Storm. For the the quadruple. Oh, he did get it. Are you kidding? Another My god. That item is so ridiculous. <laughs>
What, what, did Marana lose? I think she lost one game yesterday, right? Pro I think so. I, I believe that's what Paul said. Oh, meanwhile, Miracle gonna find Ake, picks him off quickly, then Good Moon. Call. Looking for S4, the follow-up's there from Crit, no more smoke cloud though. Starstorm, Crit has to fairy fire and heal back up, and EGM is going to work on Moon. Arrow coming through, can't find anything. And he, they'll actually go to work, the call is gonna be for Moon, but he's still taking a shadow wave, and he's gonna be careful here. They jump back at the Starstorm, and it's not gonna be enough. The range drop almost saves his life, but still, S4 will get the kill. Avalanche and Admiral Bulldog, so they doesn't get off that Ravage or further chase any any more of a kind or some sort of initiation. But. Something interesting to note here, Mod, is that Alliance, although they have this all this map control, they are not trying to go for Roche first. They're just trying to break the base right now. Yeah. I will have to see if it ends up costing them, but it could be the difference maker. These Illuminates. Now the song will come through. There's three kind of in a good form here for an Avalanche if they want to go for it, but it looks Moon like that's not going to be the Fountain, case. though, they don't yeah. have their axe for this. This is a Ravage on No-Tail coming in. There's a toss back from Miracle to make sure No-Tail stays alive. Call on to two coming out. Bulldog slow, and there's the calling play for one. Can he get two? The second one? Yes, there it is. A double for Moon. They've stopped the push now in its tracks. S4 was looking for that Starstorm, and now gets tossed up, and will get brought down. Crit's last right click with the backstab from the tricks of the trade. And so he'll have to back up, and Bulldog will TP in. Ravage was using that last engagement. This is go time for OG. They're looking. They've seen Bulldog, I believe. At least I thought they did. You Everyone see. on OG is just running around Invis looking for free frags, and Lodo will be the next choice. Avatos, spin and dead. Chop down. S4. Now on to S4. He oh, walks no. back into the cloud. He's got leap but out. they will disengage. No mana here on Moon, so they can't get off another chop. Crit was doing enough damage, so he had to back away. Moon trying to TP. I don't think he's going to be... Yeah, he won't be successful as the Shadow Wave comes out with the Anchor Smash. Well, there's a smoke. Moon is looking for S4. That is a huge pickup if they can find it. There's the Mana Drain if he leaps away. will lose a lot of his mana, but not nearly enough. There's the Life Drain. Miracle's coming, though. Successful. And Miracle just gets the combo off, and he is done. S4 down for 60, and here comes Crit. On to the fight, on to EGM, brings him down as well. Bulldog just gets ensnared, ignored. And now they're going to come back from prepping with the song. They've got a call, a chop ready, a cloud in two seconds. I don't even think he gets a Ravage off if Crit times this correctly. The Purge doesn't actually use a Diffusal Blade charge there. So they do get off the Ravage. It's on to four. No Tail's going to drop. Can Alliance turn this? Good buyback coming out from S4. He came in with a Star Storm. Crit's coming, looking for that gem. Does pick it up in time, but they have vision. Oh, and these heals from Fly on the back lines, keeping the frontliners healthy, but not long enough. The gem is now down in the deck. It's actually two gems, one on Bulldog. The other, I believe, onto Loda, and they will lose two with that buyback from S4, which is a lot of money. Might lose Fly, the impetus. Oh, the blinding light, but the arrow. Oh, my lord. That was so close. Where's Done. he going? Sex is in the base. Moon is tired of this world. I don't. He's just going further and further into the base. He's like literally waiting for Loda to come out and respawn, and then he's going to kill him, I think. Is uh, actually what he's waiting for. I don't for. think he can solo kill one. Uh, no, I don't think so, but that's what I would expect him to do. Oh, there's a gem. Maybe he's going for the gem that was put down on the steps. Oh, but my they have God. No vision of it. They don't, but if he walks in and he, see, he should Moon. see it. How did he know? There's no way. How does he know? Is he seriously going to go for this? Then. Oh, my God. He's actually going to get it. That's Moon is actually. A god! I can't Holy believe he just crap. did that. That's insane. Never ever doubt this man. Oh, this is a next level play by Moon. Moon is still up here. They're pushing mid, and Moon's like, I can just go for this. Miracle has yet to respawn. He's still dead for 13 seconds. Arrow's gonna come in, and there's the song. And Crit's here as well. This is a setup now, LD. We'll see what they can do with this. Song to start. What's gonna follow? There's an illusion mid, farther back, cutting the wave. OG dropping the cloud, but Alliance have gotten onto high ground here. They were and just trying to wait for it. There's the call. It's a good one, Mott. Is it good enough? Blinding Light will go, trying to push them back. Moon's taking impetus hits, and S4's going to come in. There's that BKB. No more ages, but they will push them back, and they'll get the range rack. The Illuminate coming through will do a lot of damage. The Guardian Greaves up and staring to S4. BKB about to go down as well. That 10-second charge is done. There's the Moonlight Shadow. Where's the vision for OG? They have the gem on No-Tail, and that melee racks. Bulldog wants to walk in. Ravage is still available. But they, oh, Miracle, as he jumps in, he doesn't have a toss. He decides to back away. The life drain brings him low. He's almost dead. He's got to go home. And Alliance moving into position, looking for this Rex. They need to focus the target down. Bulldog out of mana for now. He just barely has Ravage mana, Another but it's meet. burnt away again. Tricks of the trade coming out. Another Illuminate. And it looks like they might get this melee Rex here. 
S4 comes in looking for a Starstorm, doesn't hit anybody, and they're going to be able to force back with Bulldog. No Tail, still no more song for another 25 seconds. It's level two. He's not quite at level 16. And, he would have had it. And while that was happening, OG did get their lane of Rex top, so <laughs> oh, it is a trade for them. But even trading at this stage, Alliance have to be fairly happy with that. Round two is going to come, though. They have a song ready soon. Crit scouting things out. Smokescreen, S4 cannot afford to go down here. There's the call as well, the toss back. S4 is still alive for the time being. Now they gets off, at, they can miss the calling blade and S4 will stay alive with the grave. Rims but. out, but a fresh battle hunger and a blink from crit secures it. Now they look for more, the song comes through, connects on two, then a blink call to drag Loda away from the fight. Will the follow up be there? Okay, walked into the song. The toss up EGM slow, still silenced up. Now we'll alive and use that grave, but it's on cooldown for another 10 seconds. Crit still. Now the Ravage comes through. It'll hit onto three. The Illuminate trying to heal Miracle, but it's still nighttime. Impetus hit. Long Rage does enough damage from Ake from downtown, and Moon will get caught as well. Look at that Rage coming out from the Impetus Dragonlance. Destroys two, including Miracle Doesn't and Moon. So the issue now for them is they pretty much have to kill Nagar. They won't be able to push the up. And then they still have to get all the way to the OG base in time to deal damage to structure. So it's not going to be easy. It's Miracle goes for the tower last hit. He will be denied, but <laughs> Bulldog, Bulldog, lulling his way to the bank. But are they going to do the same mana. thing here? Do we just see that Psalm bottom into a push on mid? Miracle's waiting. They have Song ready to go for no tail. Octarine Core still going. Illuminate doing some nice work, but not nearly enough damage. Force forward. They get the song off, and they're ready to get the call onto four, oh. potentially. Oh, gee, just immaculate play here. They'll take down the tower. They'll back out and get ready for it to happen all over again. Oh, as I say that, a miracle does get caught, but fly there to the rescue. Shadow Blade's away more than fast enough. Bulldog down bottom looking for a potential Ravage. And again. the miracle looking to push back in with the Shadow Blade, just constantly pulling Alliance apart at the seams. Now hitting the range racks as they chase south. Even if they get these kills, Miracle's the one hitting buildings. BKB committed, brings down the range racks. Still, the fight raging on South S4 forced to TP home. Oh, what a double call from Moon to keep them inside this bottom lane. Still, they've TP'd home. No tell pops the BKB to get out. The life tree not doing anything. S4 coming with the star storm ready to go. As soon as that BKB is down, maybe an arrow back down bottom. Moon's still going to work. Bulldog Ravage pops hug. the Ravage and really? he's going to work. Really? Just on Moon? Moon's like, seriously, man? Are you going to do me like that? But okay. They got okay. the kill, Chop. No, he doesn't have the mana, but he has to use his right click, which is super slow. And in the Song mid lane. goes out again. S4 gets off the BKB in time, but the Insteo is there. There's the toss, Avo, but they get off the great gray from EGM, who's caught in the smoke screen. His oh crit gonna God. clean up, though. He might get two, maybe three here. Tricks of the trade. No, EGM getting hit the hell out of there as the chase goes on to Loda. Miracle gonna beat him down. Tiny with the big stick going to work, and Loda will fall. That's one and a half lanes. And now they find themselves one lane of racks away from Maker Creeps. At that point, Alliance will not be leaving the base. And they could just very slowly roll in as Loda gets jumped, quickly no dropping. No buyback, 90 seconds on the sideline, but now the call. S4, BKB, he needs to pop it. Calling Blade, not there. It's gonna miss as, of course, the Shadow Wave came through with a wand or some heal among that. Now they're gonna Miracle, up and... Hitting Bulldog, but really, I think he should just be hitting buildings. There's the song on EGM, and Aki the call again, connecting. Dazzle going down, Aki could be next. This looks like the end for Alliance. s is coming in, he's gonna get diffused up. He just blinked in, leaps out in time, but no tail. Wants to take it down, decides against it. They go for the throne, and that is it. GG called Alliance. They get 2 0 would by OG after what was uh, a pretty good idea to go for the early game. OG outlasts Alliance in game number two. I feel like I just watched Magnus Carlsen play an immaculate ma match of chess. Like, every move... Even if it wasn't perfect, they made it because they had the pieces to give away. Alliance had the extra buybacks, they had the extra lives to work with. Oh my goodness, though. They had to work for it. Alliance fought tooth, claw, and nail, but in the end, it just wasn't enough.